guys, it's Stephanie, and I am back with my February wellness goals check-in. And um, so I'm happy with February. It wasn't exactly what I thought. Um, I had wanted to lose like eight pounds and be super active, and I was really gun ho but um, life happens. And so I'm still, my trajectory is still down and my energy level is rising. So that's awesome. Um, instead of the, which I'm trying not to put too much um, stock in the number on the scale, which is really hard. Um, so I've lost four and a half pounds this month, which I think is pretty damn good because a lot of stuff happens and that's just kind of life. I've gotten much better at moderation and living in the gray and leaving room for date nights and a glass of wine here and there, um, but balancing that with a longer walk or, or you know, really kind of earning those things by moving more. So um, that's good. Um, I'm really proud of that. So I mentioned we also had Alt Summit, which was our biggest marketing event so far of this year and one of the biggest ones we have planned all year. Super fun in Palm Springs. Um, and we had we hosted a welcome party. It was amazing. And then we had a dinner that same night. Um, and of course, it was incredible. We connected with all these different people. And then all of our bodies just kind of shut down. The girls all got sick. And... Um, Luckily, knock on wood, I didn't get sick, but I did feel really run down. I've kind of had a couple times this month where I had to listen to my body telling me that it's exhausted. So I've learned to honor that, and I think it's keeping me a little healthier this month. Okay, so four and a half pounds this month. Yay! Um, I like that the trend is down, and I'm going in the right direction, and it's really sustainable. And that's really key for me. So um, my planner has become like my little diary. I love keeping track of everything. It keeps me accountable. I have like human accountability partners, but this, uh, my wellness extension pack, that tracker is really helping me um, to stay focused, to make plans. So next month, I've set my goals for March, for, I'm sorry, for this month. Now I'm in this month. Okay, so I've got something exciting coming up. Um, April 1st, Kevin and I are going to Canyon Ranch, which is a wellness retreat. And it's in Tucson, Arizona. And I've been there before a couple times. And this is one of my favorite things to do. Um, we go to this, I guess it's like a spa, but not really. It's this wellness, I call it like a wellness resort or a wellness retreat because they have a full on top notch medical staff as well as a spa and so many activities like there's tennis and pickleball and bike riding and hiking and high ropes courses and every fitness class you'd want to take in a gym and, and they have um, spir a spiritual center. There's places for meditation and yoga. So it is, I mean, when you're talking mind, body and spirit, it's right here in this place, in this magical, like mystical spot in the desert. Um, and I'm a beach girl, so you guys know if I'm saying this magical place in the desert, it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, I've been before, and we went last year, we did a corporate retreat there because all of us needed to really focus on our health. We were working so hard that we wanted to make sure that we as a corporate and ownership team were very healthy. So we went there and, um, and you know, it's a bit of a splurge. So. I really wanted to plan to go again in the future, but what Kevin and I decided this year is that we don't exchange gifts. So we don't do Christmas or birthday or anniversary gifts normally for each other because we usually end up, let's go on a vacation. Let's do those things throughout the year. I don't need a special day telling me, you know, let's give a gift to each other. So we kind of use our resources and, and money to do those things just kind of organically. So this year we decided we're going to go back to Canyon Ranch and we're going to honor our bodies and our health and our mind and kind of do that checkup from last year. Um, and, and then, so we're, we're going for a week in April and then after Kevin will leave after that. And then, so then my girls are joining me there. So my mom and my daughter and possibly my sister are going to join me there. And so that gives me two weeks of like focusing on my health. Um, and Lord knows that I'm going to have to do some work there, but I'm really going to try and separate that or, or at least maybe do it like in the morning or something. Um, I have a goal and 
I want to be in Wonderland by the time I go to Canyon Ranch. And for me, if you haven't heard of that before, that is under 200 pounds. And you know that I'm very open about my weight and my journey with weight loss. Um, and so that's a big, that's a big step for me. So I've got seven pounds to go, um, to get under 200. And, um, I want to be in Wonderland when I go and I start again this journey in the desert. So that means this month of March that I really have to kind of really focus back in. I'm hoping that I don't have that, that mental all or nothing thing come back, um, when I'm trying to really focus this month. So that's something I need to be aware of, but I want to kind of hustle. I really, I really want that goal. Um, and it's the lowest I've weighed in a long time and I'm feeling so good. So, um, so that's what I'm hoping. So Wonderland by April 1st. Um, I know I can do this and you know what, if I work really hard and I don't get there and I'm 202 pounds or whatever, then I'm going to be okay with that. Um, it's like, I remember telling my kids when they were younger, it's like, if you get a B or even a C in a class and you really tried hard and you really were giving it everything you had, that's different. I'm, I'm not upset about that. Like that's life. Sometimes things come easier to you or harder and sometimes life happens and that's kind of how I feel. But make no mistake about this. Like I really, really want to be in Wonderland. Um, kind of symbolic for me, I guess. It's Easter, it's like this new beginning, and I feel like I'm now going and leaving that other chapter behind and I'm going forward with, you know, really getting closer to my healthy weight. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. <clears throat> and I hope to be coming to you guys from Canyon Ranch um, with my check-in next time and say I'm in Wonderland and maybe even like I would love to be able to do something there from Canyon Ranch, whether I go on Instagram um, and do stories um, something because I really wish everyone had a chance to go to this place because it's incredible. It is really a place where we talk about self-care, which is not just getting your hair done and your nails done, which is, it's part, that's part of it. But this is about really taking care of yourself and taking the time to prioritize your mind, body, and spirit. So maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll do something there in Canyon Ranch so that you guys can just experience that magic with me. So if you if you think that's a great idea and you'd love to see that, comment below and tell me um, tell me what you want to know. I can maybe I can like bring back in some knowledge for you. Hey you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me and checking in with me and letting me have some online accountability partners. Um, ding. <laughs> I like um, I like having this this check in here because it does hold me accountable. And like I said, I have humans, I have my planner that holds me accountable, but I also know that I'm going to be filming this. I've made this, this decision to share my journey with you. And so I don't want to let you down. I want you to go on the journey with me. I don't want to let myself down, um, by giving up. So it's, yeah, it's a journey and it's an adventure and I'm so glad you're on it with me. And Thank you guys all so much for so much support that I've gotten. Every time I post something like this or in my planner, I get so many supportive comments and um, direct messages. So just know that all your kind words and thoughts are so appreciated. You're helping me on this journey. So thanks so much for being here. And I will see you in March. No, I'll see you in April from Canyon Ranch. And I'll tell you how fabulous I'm feeling in Wonderland. So until then, you guys, remember to plan your happy lives and whatever goals you set for yourself. Um, love yourself enough to, to just do it, to go out there and get it and show up and, and make it happen. Bye.